These are just uh, some of my grid bearing protractors. Um, as you can see, various sizes. Um, and I've actually made these myself. I think you can buy them, you know, commercially buy them. Um, but they're, they're easy to make yourself. I've actually knocked all these up myself. Well, these three, anyway, this one, you can see it's got a built-in bearing marker on it for close distances on the map. And yeah, like I say, um, these are some of my grid bearing protractors. And I tend to use a protractor more than my compass to find a grid bearing. And uh, I think for, for a beginner, if you're a beginner in uh, map and compass work, I think that you'll find using a protractor to find a grid bearing much more easier and quicker than using a compass. If you don't know how to use a grid bearing protractor, um, I have a few videos on my playlist which you can look up. Obviously just look up a grid bearing protractor or you know a title to that effect. I've got a couple I think a few videos actually on my playlist of actually how to use one of these protractors, uh, how to get a grid bearing, how to set it then on your compass and then how to convert it to a magnetic bearing and then how you can march on that bearing to the attack point. So yeah, that's it, it's just a uh, look at some of my grid bearing protractors that I've made myself.